little 90s y, I think, in a couple places, with the exception of the solo. Uh, but that's what happens when I plug into my tri axis. I get a little 90s y, get a little solo y. And, uh, you know, but I wasn't plugging into my tri axis, I was plugging into my new Tone X pedal. Yeah, in sexy black. I was using the tone model that I made of the tri-axis and it kind of gave me the same vibes. So actually I used uh, four captures. It was like boom, boom, boom. And then I had another preset on another bank. So super cool. Let's real quick talk about what this is. This is the hardware player for Tonex tone models. Tonex is the IK Multimedia software that allows you to capture your favorite tones and you could play them back in software and now you can play them back in pedal format. When you buy this for $3.99, it comes with Tonex Max, which gives you th thousands, literally you have access to thousands of sounds. It uh, comes with thousands that IK made and then on their online community, there's a gazillions other. Um, I put some up there as well. And there's others you can get from third parties. Like I have some third parties you can get of preamps and stuff like that. Now the pedal itself doesn't do any capturing. It's just the playback side of things, but the software does. Uh, and if you wanna try Tonex before you dive into pedals or into Tonex Max or something like that, they have a free version. It's called Tonex CS. Uh, you could just go to the website and get it and try it. And if you'd like to see how to do a Tone X capture, I run through that in another video. Uh, the links are gonna be down below for all of these things, of course. So let's get to it. Five ways to get the most out of your Tone X pedal. Number one is accessing the alternate controls. They included all of the standard amp controls on the front panel. You've got your gain, bass, middle, treble, and volume there. If you hold down this parameter button, it will switch so these same knobs are now controlling the reverb, the compressor, noise gate, presence, and depth. This is critically important. Of course, you could just play back one of your presets that you've dropped in there via the librarian, but if you wanna tweak, which I know you're gonna to wanna to tweak, you have to know. Hold this down, and now you're in the alternate controls. I could turn up my noise gate. Ah, much nicer. And I have access to presence and depth. Number two is accessing advanced mode. This is if you wanna get super nerdy, and I'm sure you will. In order to do this, you hold down the model button. From there, you go to global, find user mode, and switch user mode from easy to advanced. Using advanced mode lets me change things like which reverb I'm using. Hit that, I'm in reverb mode. I could go from spring. <laughs> to plate. To room. And I could also do things like change the time of the reverb. also have access to the frequency points for the EQ. A lot of other modelers, if you want to just add treble, it's always the same, but this will allow you to change that frequency. So you could find just a little more air or something a little more punchy down low. Number three is a bit of a hidden feature. If you look in the back of the unit, there's a USB port. That is how you connect to your computer and <laughs> got it. Uh, and you throw your tone models onto the Tonex pedal. It also functions as a USB interface. When I plug into my computer, just ask, hey, do you wanna use this as an interface? And you say yes, and it works. It's really straightforward and really easy and sounds good. Number four. 
four is to change up the cabs. If you use one of the tone model presets and maybe it's so close, but just maybe I want it to be a little beefier or something like that, feel free to switch out the ca cabs. You could scroll through the bazillions of cabs that are already there. Uh, you could add the cab portion from some of your other presets. I'm always partial to my own IRs that I make and it's really easy to drop them in there. You just click there and select the IR and there you go. Adding your own IR is as easy as selecting cab, click on custom IR, load in your favorite IR. It's now in the Tonex browser, click and it's good to go. Tonex also has VirCab, V-I-R cab. I don't know how they pronounce it, but we'll just call it VirCab, uh, which is, a, I'm assuming, virtual cab. You get access to three-dimensional controls for your cabinet. There's a SM57 and a 414. So you can balance the two or just use one, move around, back, forward. There's your cab. The V-I-R cab is a little harder to find. It's hidden right over here. You can grab these two little dots wiggle them around. Number five starts a bit obvious. Create your own models. With the Tonex software, you could create your own tone models, but it's not just limited to amps. You could also capture pedals. So uh, I captured my Klon KTR pedal with the, the John Mayer settings, which John Mayer is not the only one to use those settings, but it's a nice setting. So uh, let's go with that. I'm uploading this to the Tone X community. So if you want it, you could just download this too. But now your Tone X amp modeler also is now a Klon KTR. Uh, and it's still cheaper than, you know, going and buying a, a KTR on online. I'm plugged into this third power dirty sink head. I've made a tone capture of my Klon KTR and now it's preset 12 in my Tonex pedal. Here's the amp straight in. Here's the Klon. Here's the Tone X. What I have in the Tone X is now my KTR patch also has a uh, five band EQ. I have a noise gate and I have a compressor. So what I'm saying is You've got some options here. So that is it. Five ways to get the most out of your IK Multimedia Tone X pedal. This thing is great. I'm super happy to have it because I really like the Tone X software. I have a bunch of rare preamps and uh, vintage heads and stuff, and I like capturing them because sometimes you just want to do a quick switch and man, unplugging and replugging and stuff. It could be a nightmare. So uh, if you want to get one of these, uh, obviously you're going to know where because they're going to be everywhere. And um, yeah, come over to my site, check out some of uh, my tones. The IK Multimedia community has a bazillion tones. You're going to have tones coming out your ears. That's all I'm saying. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy your pedal. See ya.